Hey everybody! I am Tanya with Country View Homestead and today we are back with a little bit of a different kind of project. So I've had these for a couple of years that came from Hobby Lobby and I've just, they, I mean they could be centerpieces, it's you know you could put things in here or whatever but I wanted to do something different and so I have this spatula and I thought I could make some decor for my house for spring, but still kind of keep it, I don't know, in the old, um, the old look that I like. So I thought maybe I could mount the spatula on here and then maybe do some greenery and some flowers under here. You know, just to, to kind of make it look nice. And then, I don't know, I was thinking of a bow up here. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I could do, you know, something like this with with some greenery and a bow and that kind of thing, which would still be pretty. Um, but I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out because I have this whole section, so I could cut this. If I cut it, I could... I don't know. It's just because it's it, there's nothing right here. It's too much left over. Don't mind my speckles everywhere. I just finished making more eggs for some orders. Um... I don't know, I'm trying to figure out because I don't want to leave the top of the spatula just like that. I mean, it's it would look nice to do this down here. It fills in this space. But, I don't know. So maybe I'll put a bow on here? A little one or something? I don't know. A tag? A tag, maybe? Hang a tag off it? That would be good. I don't know. Alright, well, let's just work on it and see. So the first thing I'm going to do, like that. I've thought about putting it in the middle, right? And it's the same thing. What do I what do I put on the ends? I'm trying to work with what I have. I haven't bought anything new for this. Um, I'm just trying to just strictly work with what I have. And I don't know. I kind of like the idea of hanging it up here. And so what I'm going to do is I have I have hooks, but they're too small, and this this won't fit into it. So I'm just going to use a screw. So I'm just kind of centering this. And that way I can put a screw in here. I'm not going to put it too crazy tight because you got to be able to whoop, try not to mess it up. So that's good right there, I think. I'm not going to go all the way in there because I want it to be able to hang freely. So that's that. So now what we'll do is work on the flowers. I've got my glue gun heating up. So in the meantime, I will grab some fabric, and I'm thinking I'm going to use some ticking, like this has a red handle, so I'd like to bring that red in. So I'm thinking that using red ticking would work. See? I think that would look nice. I, I will, of course, go over it and uh, make it look more distressed. I don't necessarily know how big to go on this, but we're going to try. So if I have, let's see, I've got, these are my favorite, I got these at Michael's, they, these are my, my, like, favorite, favorite greenery. I think they're so pretty. So it's going to end up like this, and I'm going to take a couple of these off because I need the bottom to be able to wrap it around. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put in these flowers. So what I'm using are just um, extra flowers that I have that I used on other projects. And then these are what I have left over. I have a couple of these, which I could do like up here, maybe. And then I have some of these baby's breath that, that I'd like to use. Um, let's see. I'm going to pull one off of here and see. Yeah, see, it's just, it's a really good filler. I love this stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and start wrapping this. So what I'm going to do is just start wrapping this. I'm trying to get it, like, all the way around. And I'm going to put a a bow on this, a regular bow on this with this ticking. So 
Um, trying, well, I'm trying to figure out how I did this here. I need to make sure that I have these on here properly. There we go, because I want it to like fan out a little bit. I don't want it to all be uh, right up the middle here. And we can, you know, play with these after and see where, whoop, like that one came off. We'll fix that. So, all right, so I'm going to cut this off. All right, glue it down to the back here. So now you need to see where I have it and where I need to cut more of these off. That's why I didn't cover them because I knew I was going to have to cut more. I hope you guys can see this. That's probably better right there. Um, so I don't want this way up here. I want it like, I mean, I guess that's good right there so, and I won't have to cut these much, but I think I'm going to cut them just a little bit more and kind of even them out here. Plus the edges don't, they don't look very nice, so. Okay, so, something like that. So, let me, uh, let me try it this way without the knot. So the knot's kind of making it like too high. Okay, well, I guess the battery died. I had to put a new one in. I'm not quite sure what that was all about, but we'll see how far I got. Alright, so what I'm doing is uh, I just put the bow on here, and I'm going to attach it to this with my um, stapler. And it's debating whether or not to put glue on here. Gosh, this thing. Mm. Okay, who else feels my frustration right now? Somebody has to. I know you do. If you're a crafter, you've got to be feeling it right now. This stupid bow. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm going to put glue on it too, just on this stem part. And then uh, staple it. Just a little added insurance that it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, well, it'd be nice if those staples in it. Alright, well, it's just going to be glued for now. I will be putting staples on here. I have to buy some more. Apparently I am out. Did not realize that, so I'll staple it after. But you get the idea. Pretty flowers. So now we get to glue these and tuck them in all around here. So I'm just kind of tucking these in wherever. They're getting glued to each other, so some of them some of them are on the board itself some of them are just glued to other parts of the greenery I am kind of tucking them in first to make sure I like the placement and then I'll glue it I went ahead and threaded my my button, cut off the excess, and then I only do that so that the tabs aren't sticking up and it doesn't it doesn't come off. So now I need to distress the button. I was going to put the button here. I think that would look cute, kind of fill that space. And, all right. and as you know, as you know, if you've been following, I always thread my buttons. I just think it gives it a nice finished look. I think it looks better. So, okay, so this is going to go right here, right on there. All right, so I think that that looks pretty good, right? 
right in there, right? You guys like the flowers? So now we're working on this end. Again, I'm just going to put the messy bow with a tag. Um, the question is now, what am I going to put on the tag? What do I want to... Do I want a picture of something? Do I want words? No, no. I could put just like farm kitchen on here. I mean, that sounds like it would be fun, right? Let's go with farm kitchen. Why not? All right. Go ahead and do farm kitchen on here. All right. So we're going to go with kitchen first because I want to put it at the bottom. gonna go with kitchen and then we'll go with farm right above that farm there that works I love these clippable ones they make it so much easier so what I need to do though with this real quick is I need to uh, bend it up make it look old just distress it Again, I always stamp first because once you start doing this and you try to put a stamp on these, it's going to be, it's, it's difficult to actually get the word on there properly. All right, so now we're going to go in with the ink pad and just distress the whole thing. I go darker on the edges and then go through the middle. And I like to do, when I do it like this, I like to get these raised edges. So all these pieces that you bent up and stuff, it makes it look even more distressed by doing that. All right. Now this will end up going on here. And I think what I'm going to do is actually glue it to the bow and then tie the bow. It still has these, so I can tie the bow around this and kind of glue it. This is metal. I don't know how well the glue is going to stick to that. Since I'm going to... Well, maybe I should put it up here. What do you think? Maybe right here at the base. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so that brings it up further. Okay, I like it. I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here. And then just attach that. And make sure... Well, it's got to go over more. This is with these bows. They come to you guys. I, I make these for sale. They're in my Etsy shop, the messy bow. But they come to you guys bigger. They come to you in somewhere between three and four inches, usually more like four. And, and they could be a little bit bigger. It just depends. They come to you that way so that you can trim them down. This is not a four-inch bow. This is this is smaller than that. I don't have my, my uh, I don't know where it went. I had a thing measuring tape but this is more like probably a three inch and it could be slightly less than a three inch but I make them bigger so that you guys can cut them down to whatever size you need so that's why when you get them in in the mail they're bigger than what they look like on the project so the projects that I make they're usually around this size I make them usually anywhere between like two and a half and three inches for the projects that I use them on. So that's why they don't look the same exactly when you get them. It's simply because they're not they're not um, cut down to the same size. It it all depends on the size of the project you're using it on. Let me see here. That looks pretty good, right? So I'm going to go ahead and tie this and glue it. Let's see if we can get it to stick to this metal. I don't know. It's got a little bit of rust on it, so it might help. So what I'm going to do is cut this and then just use my fingertip protectors here and push these down. Okay, so let's turn that over and see what we're dealing with here. That's good. It's on there pretty good too. It doesn't want to move. So, all right. I like it, you guys. What do you think? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I didn't want to hide the handle 
but I think doing it this way is um, let me fluff this up a little bit and this needs to get cut gotta fluff them too actually so that's another thing because um, I'm getting some messages about it you have to fluff them so that's why I leave the ta the tags the um, that's why I leave those strings on the back when you get them that's so that you can take those strings turn it over and shake them out and fluff them up that's what those are for you cut those off afterwards when you're done um, but that's what they're originally for I'm thinking I might tack down this tag because it keeps wanting to go like that that's not how I want it so let me see how I like it so let me see I don't think I necessarily want it straight, so I'm gonna hook. I'm just gonna tack it down a little bit on here and see if it'll work. Just to stop it from going off the thing. So, all right. What do we think, guys? What do we think? Do we like it? I will show you a full picture of it at the end of this video. I'll mess with it a little bit more, and then I'll show you. But do you like it? I like it. I think it's cute. Been wanting to do something with this forever. So I'm glad I finally thought of something. So, all right. That is going to be it for me. I got to go finish cooking dinner. And, uh, again, guys, all my stuff is in my Etsy shop. So if you're looking for anything for mom, for Mother's Day, for, um, you know, a great handmade gift for mom, I have lots of stuff there. Look in the spring section and just Mother's Day section, and there's, there's, I have all a whole bunch of stuff in there that would be great for for Mother's Day. So, and then if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. There's a whole lot of you that that watch the videos, but you're not actually subscribed. And subscribing will help me um, be able to keep this going and uh, make more videos. So. All right, you guys have an amazing night, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.